I've got about a good 20 minutes to a half an hour drive. That is not the music I want to hear. Oh dear. Oh gosh, I've got such a busy day ahead of me and you know I can't function. I don't know about you guys, but I can't function unless I start off with my cup of tea in the mornings. You know when it just hits that spot in the mornings, like you just feel like you can't function until you've at least had, I probably need at least two cups of these to get going. So what have I got planned today? I've got so much on. I've got um, a couple of business meetings that I've got to attend to this morning. I've got a really important one that I've got to go to. And then after that, I've got a little bit of shopping to do if I can fit that in. And then I've got to rush back for some Zoom calls. So it's a really, really busy day. And first got to hit the bathroom, get myself together, you know, excuse my bonnet that I've got on here. But um, talking about this bonnet, I bought this, where did I buy this? Was it? Amazon, yeah, Amazon. They do these silky bonnets. I'm not going to take it off for you because, you know, it, nah, it ain't cool. But please excuse me. Don't come for me. Don't come for me in my bonnet. But the bonnet is really good for your hair, to wrap your hair, so that when you're sleeping at night and you're like, you're laying on a pillow and all that, it doesn't actually pull at your hair. And it keeps your hair laid so that when you get up in the morning, your hair is like moisturised and it hasn't dried out. Just in case you're thinking, what has she got on? Yes, my hair is all tucked up underneath here. So, so I've got to sort that out and just get myself together. And even my nails, oh my gosh, I've got to get my nails done. Who misses going to the nail bar? But do you know what? I think I might actually not do it for a while. I might just keep my own nails and just do it at home. But anyway, I digress. Guys, I've got a busy day ahead, so what I'll do, I'll check in with you later on. I'll see you in a bit. I've got about a good 20 minutes to a half an hour drive. That is not the music I want to hear. Oh dear. Bit of garage? No, probably not. Maria, Maria. So this meeting that I'm going to, <clears throat> it's actually going to meet some clients. And um, this is just kind of standard thing that I do on a daily basis. You know, you go, my business takes me all over the place. I could be um, <clears throat> from one county to the next. I could be in London. I could be in Brighton. I could be in Wales. I could be anywhere. And that's why, <clears throat> you know, my business can take me all over the place. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to keep you on all the time because um, it's actually easier for me to just um, probably turn off and come back a little later on. And also I can get some music on because I don't want to get down by copyrights. <laughs> but I'll catch you shortly, guys. I've just picked up my boots from Timpson and you know what I'm really surprised because they've had my boots since I think it was since September no what am I talking about they had my boots since February and then from February I think it was early March we went into lockdown and now it's June the funny thing about it the guy actually remembered me. He said, oh, hello, it's Lois. I'm like, oh my gosh, can't go nowhere. Look how, look how long. Let's <sighs> turn this car on. I need some petrol. There you go, see, I need petrol. My car's out of order, it likes to tell me off all the time.
Yes, always good. Have jelly babies for the journey. Uh, uh, uh. I wonder if I should stop and get some watermelon. I got some big watermelons. I bought one here the other day. And it was it cost me £12 for, for one watermelon. But you know what? The watermelon was nice though. I'm not even gonna lie. It was nice. So the meeting was quite successful actually. It's quite good. It was a good meeting. Um you know, the people that I met, they were really nice and we had a bit of a chat about business and everything. But right now, I'm hungry and I'm thinking, what can I get to eat while on the road? I oh know, it's a traffic light. Let me stop, let me stop. Look at Iceland. I'm thinking about going in there, but look at the queue. Do you know what? I'm really trying to find a drive-in KFC because then I can just drive and get everything through the window. It's not really good for you to be honest. I really need to start to get back on my smoothies that I used to that I used to have. Because when I had smoothies, I found that they were really healthy breakfast rather than having my just cup of tea and running through the door of the morning. Oh my this this busman don't know whether he's coming or going. You're in on the inside, you're out everybody, you're indicating you're in, out, in, out. Oh my giddy aunt. I don't trust this bus now because now I look to overtake you. You know what? See, Ford my shop now. That's what happened when you got kicked down, innit, in your car. I tell you, I'm so glad I finally got home. I am so hungry. Stopped off. I've got my lunch. I've got my favourite fried chicken, one of my favourites. So it's just something quick to grab on the go so I can start work. And I feel so more refreshed. I've changed my clothes, had a quick wash, especially with all this corona and COVID. They said that we've got to, when we come in, we change our clothes. So it's just a standard thing. But now I feel much more fresh, much more able to take on everything I've got to do this afternoon once I've had my lunch. So I'm glad I had a great meeting this morning. Glad I've got that all done. Now I've got to crunch some numbers and see if we can make the deal stack. So I will see you in a bit. Hello? Right, okay. Well, all you do, check in with me later on because we've got to probably run a few errands. Um, there's some emails need to be checked and also probably uh, a couple more phone calls to make after the Zoom call and then we'll probably wrap up for the evening unless we've got anything else urgent on the books. So I've just spoken to my assistant, just checked in with her to make sure that everything is okay, that everything on the books has been taken care of. We have a quick catch up from time to time just to make sure that we're covering all bases and that you know all our clients are being taken care of. So she's got her agenda. I've got my to-do list and my Zoom calls for the afternoon. Once I've done that, we just do a final check-in for the day. And hopefully that will be the end of the afternoon and we can just shut down for the evening. And then, you know, business starts again tomorrow. But for now, I'm just going to carry on with a little bit of admin, get ready for my call, and then we're good to go. So I'll catch you on the other side. Jim, hope to see you back soon. Yeah, right. That's not going to happen. Just going to pick up a few bits in Sainsbury's. Well, 
I just went to Sainsbury's, picked up a few bits. Really want to see all my. Uh, I've got some chicken, some chicken thighs. I like the thighs because you can make um, really nice chicken curry. So what I tend to do, I cut the thighs in half, or sometimes in three quarters, and then you can get to make really nice chicken curry, put a bit of seasoning on it, a bit of onions, peppers, garlic, chilli, curry powder, coconut milk. Mm, the business. Oh, must add onions. Onions, make it. And tomato puree. Yes. Also what I got, because... Working at home, I found lately, I'm a bit adverse to a bit of bacon, so got some streaky there, which I can make a lovely bacon sandwich for my lunch if I'm working from home. And got to have my brown sugar for my tea. So this is not really the one I normally buy. This is, oh my gosh, it says for making fudge cakes and cookies. Oh no. Have I got the wrong one? Fudge cakes and cookies. You know what? I don't care. I bought it now. I'm going to use it either way. Put them back in the bag. Sainsbury's goodbye for another day. Hi, everyone. Welcome to tonight's call. Thank you for joining me on the call this evening. I know it's glad to see so many of you online and um really glad to have you on board so tonight we're going to start off with the agenda items for the meeting and we'll take a step and walk through each bit so that we're quite clear how we're going to go forward in terms of policy and procedure well i'm settling down guys to watch frozen and you know what i need to really take more time and sit down and just chill out and the reason why i'm watching is because i've just upgraded my phone and um, part of my upgrade, guys, I got um, six months worth of Disney for free. I'm a quite a fan of Marvel and Black Lightning. And they are the same people that are responsible for making these films, apparently. So I was able to then get this on this channel. So I thought, OK, let me sit down and watch a kind of relaxing um, movie that I don't have to think too much about. And... Here I am watching Let It Go, or Frozen, should I say. I can't believe this film. I remember when every little girl was singing this ages ago. As it's gone down the road, Let It Go, Let It Go. I'm like, what's all this Let It Go business? But I can't believe I'm watching this film like, Let It, let go, it go, Let It let Go. It go. It was, a, it was a really good film, actually. I think I'm going to do this more often. Just chill out and just look at the films. It's really, really good. Really good. And the thing is, it's quite... Um, I suppose the way they made it is so that all the parents that are taking the children, that the parents will also have some sort of entertainment. It's quite witty, actually. It's quite witty. I won't give the story away, although probably everybody else knows the story except me. I'm the only one who doesn't know the story, actually. So, yeah, it was... Um, yeah, I really, really enjoyed that, actually. So uh, maybe you guys can actually recommend some more Disney classics that are really good. I don't, I don't know which is which. Um, I'm just finding out now. I might even try and do a film a night. What do you reckon? Do you reckon I can do a film a night? I don't think so. I fancy watch another movie, but let's not overdo it. The fact that I've done one movie tonight, <laughs> that's more than enough. Mmm. Yes, it's beautiful. Had to get my piece of uh, melon no, no. before yes, bed. I forgot to show you when I had my dinner. I should have showed you my dinner, what I had. I had um, curry chicken and rice. Yes, I know. Chicken twice in one day. But hey, that's all right with me. If they're in different formats, I can have them any time of day. No problem. I don't think I'm going to stay up too late, though, because I've got a really early start in the morning. And um, I just really wanted to talk to you guys and just kind of, you know, talk to you the evening I had kind of thing, let you see what I've been up to. 
and I think that's about it for me, guys. So, you know, um, this is my first vlog. So, to be honest with you, I was really nervous about doing my first vlog. It's a bit hot, let me take this off. I was a bit nervous about doing my first vlog because, to be honest with you, I, I don't know if you guys will find this interesting. I don't know if you guys will think, well, actually, is that what a day looks like? Or I've just, I'm just not used to, I suppose, um, having a camera following you around and like talking to you and capturing moments and stuff like that. Because I suppose I'm so used to moving quickly. So to me, this whole vlogging experience is totally new to me. Totally, totally new to me. And even even at some points, I have to think to myself, oh my gosh, I can't say that. I can't put that on camera. I can't do that. But do you know what? I don't mind it. I don't mind it, to be honest with you. But you guys are going to have to tell me what you think and tell me if you believe that, you know, I could do another vlog. Should I do another vlog? And if so, how often? Now, I don't know if I can do this every week, but I'll try and fit it in if you guys want to see that kind of content. I'll try and fit it in. But um, I've actually really enjoyed it. And it's funny, you don't even realise what you do until the spotlight is on you, like the camera, and it shows you what you do. So I'm going to have some fun watching this back. And I hope I ain't said nothing that's a bit a bit <clears throat> out of order. You get me though? <laughs> so guys, have a wonderful night i'm gonna sign out and say good night from me and it's good night from her and it's good night from life with lois so guys i will see you next time take care bye